Do you know what this is? I'm talking about this thing. The block I'm holding is a command block. Only one week left to get the pop vinyl, but why am I showing you this? I'm standing in my private multiplayer world, this is the test world for Snapshot 22W44A, and I wanted to draw your attention, not to this, obviously, we've got the Technoblade statues here, although I don't know why this one's decapitated. But I'm gonna stand by here and tell you that this is one of the best snapshots that has ever been released. Why? Because, if you go over to the redstone blocks, right here, and you scroll down, you will find that Mojang have finally added command blocks to the creative menu. After 10 years, they finally added it. Command block, chain command block, repeating command block. Not only that, we have jigsaw blocks, structure voids, barrier blocks, light blocks, and the debug stick. Operator items are now available in your creative menu. Now some of you are gonna ask, where's the structure block? And you'd be right in saying that because it's not here. <laughs> They've forgotten to add structure blocks. I think it's actually missing structure. That's a structure void. Yeah, that's gone. We all know the old way to get it, which is slash give at s command block. You can still do it this way, but the only requirement now is that you have to be an operator, whether that be cheats enabled in single player or an operator on a multiplayer server. But if you have this menu open while someone deops you, these blocks will stay there. There's an insane amount of vitriol that surrounds Minecraft and the Mojang developers that pretty much happens during the snapshot release cycle and update news, which is, this update sucks, but do take the time to praise the developers when they release a good snapshot like this. The reason why this is so important to me, as well as many other map makers, is it makes these blocks more accessible. These blocks have been a part of the channel since the beginning of time. Now, obviously the reason why I don't use command blocks as much anymore is because I've got data packs. This is the data pack editor on Badline, exclusive to Badline. You can see bundles update 120 from the new snapshots. So certainly is a long time coming, but I love this change so much. They are actually doing a lot of changes to the creative menu. Uh, spawn eggs have had a revamp. You've got monster spawners now, iron golem spawn eggs, snow golem spawn eggs, and through the give command, the wither spawn egg and the endo dragon spawn egg. Both of them are only available through give commands because, as they have said in their patch notes, we don't want players to accidentally destroy their worlds. Okay, finally, the last thing I want to point out. You can now have infinite lava sources like this. Obviously, the default result from what I just did would have been this. The game rule is lava source conversion. So if it was set to false, this would be the result. But if you set it to true and you put one in one corner and the other in the other corner, it will behave like water because lava source blocks will be created from flowing lava. It's safe to say this is probably one of the better snapshots that we've received. It doesn't even need to inundate us with content. This is a good reminder that sometimes quality of life updates are in fact needed for a game that's gonna last us for many, many years to come.